Ubuntu 22.04 LTS is the latest long-term support release of Ubuntu, backed by five years of ongoing updates. But what are the best new features, the biggest improvements, and is it worth installing or upgrading to? Well, folks, let's find out. At first glance, the new LTS looks a lot like the old one, but it's not. The previous LTS used a buggy animation to reveal a vertical scrolling app launcher whose shortcuts you couldn't reorder. App windows and workspaces were also managed vertically. Fast forward to Ubuntu 22.04 and the entire UX has been upgraded thanks to GNOME 42. The app launcher now slides up from the bottom of the screen and scrolls horizontally, and you can finally reorder apps to put your favourites where you want them. Window and workspace management is also horizontal. You can drag and drop windows between workspaces directly or by using the thumbnails located at the top. Ubuntu switch to Wayland enables some slick new touchpad gestures to enter and exit the launcher and switcher. The UI for these animations are one-to-one, -one, meaning they move as fast or as slow as your fingers do. You know, I'm hugely impressed at how good this version of Ubuntu performs. It's stable, it's responsive, and boy is it fast. Ubuntu devs have really gone the extra mile to give this LTS the best performance possible. So much so that this is the first version of Ubuntu where you can run the full desktop experience on the entry-level Raspberry Pi 4. Now that's a slice of nice. Those upgrading from 2004 will get to enjoy Ubuntu's light, bright default theme with restyled window controls and rounded bottom corners on many GTK apps. In this release, you can customise Ubuntu with one of 10 accent colours. Your hue of choice is reflected throughout the GTK theme, shell UI, and even some icons like the file manager. The look and feel of the GNOME shell UI has been modernised with softer colours, rounded corners, and less obtrusive OSDs when changing the volume, brightness, and so on. Finally, theme fans will appreciate that Ubuntu now offers a true dark mode that gets applied across the whole system UI. As well as new wallpapers, this release is rounded out by a brand new Ubuntu logo. Do let me know what you think of it down in the comments. Ubuntu has decluttered the desktop by moving the trash can onto the dock and placed a divider between pinned and running apps. A slew of new dock settings are offered in this release, including a toggle to make the dock, look, well, more like a dock. The previous LTS bizarrely didn't let you drag or drop from the file manager and onto the desktop. Thankfully, that is fixed in this release. Additionally, new desktop icons now show in the bottom right hand corner, though there is a setting to change this if you'd rather, and chances are you will. Laptop users are sure to love this release as you can now change power mode straight from the status menu, making it super easy to enable low battery mode at a whim or turn your computer's performance up to 11. Another one to file under it took this long? You can finally show battery percentage on the top bar without installing any extra apps or add-ons. Ubuntu prides itself on shipping with the best open source software available, so you'll find the latest stable release of desktop email client Thunderbird with its hugely improved account setup, and LibreOffice 7.3 with a plethora of peppy performance improvements. In Ubuntu 22.04, Firefox is now provided as a, a Snap app. Yeah, it's a controversial change. Now, Snap apps are nowhere near as bad as some people make out, but they do have an ongoing issue. Slow startup times from a cold boot. This is my laptop after a cold boot. I open Firefox so I can get to writing a new blog post and... Uh... Oh, it's a little bit slow. The good news is that subsequent launches of the browser are much faster, and the issue does not affect Firefox performance in the slightest, which remains exactly the same as any other packaging format or distro. There's a brand new screenshot UI experience. Tap the print screen key to grab a screenshot of a section, your entire screen, or a specific window. Toggle on the screen record mode to grab a video file instead. This version of Ubuntu lets you create password protected zip files in the file manager, see your upcoming events in the calendar applet, quickly restart, and tweak your workflow using a new multitasking section in the settings app. 
Below the bumper, Ubuntu 2204 includes Linux 5.15 itself for long-term support release, Mesa 22 for smooth graphics performance, Wayland as the default display server, including for some NVIDIA users, Pipewire for improved audio handling, and NF tables as the firewall backend. So there we have it, Ubuntu 2204 Jammy Jellyfish, a release jam-packed with awesome new features and some killer attention to detail. With five years of ongoing support, plus periodical new kernel and graphics driver updates, plus a desktop experience that is as fast and as fluid as anything else out there, it's a release you definitely want to give a go.